Hi, Colleen here. I just wanted to show you this uh, little, well, this bonbon that I made. I'm going to be giving it to a friend of mine and I thought I'd make one for another friend. It's really easy. It's, I know it comes on the end of our advent one, which we made the, the five-sided one. And this is the same. It's just a, a larger version of it. Um, it measures when it's finished. Uh, seven and three quarter inches by... Let's have a look at this. By about two and, a, two and a quarter inches, between two and a quarter, two and a half inches wide. So, and it will hold four Ferrero Rochers inside, which I've got ready and prepared to go in the box over there. So, let's get started. Um, it is really easy. I, we made it in one of my classes, so there's all the instructions. You'll be getting that at the end. And what I've got here is a piece of white which measures, actually I should put a piece of black and put under it well, it'll be easier for you to see we'll work on black today so it measures nine and a half by seven inches and we're going to score on the seven inch side at oh, excuse me, I had the wrong end out at one and a quarter at two and a half, at three and three quarters, at five, and at six and a quarter inches. Now it does have a large overhang here. Normally it's half inch, but I've made this three quarters because when it's a half inch, you actually cut into it and you leave this jagged edge, and I didn't like it, so I changed that bit. So I've made it a bit wider. Then we're going to turn it to the nine and a half inch side and score it on one inch. One and five eighths and two and a quarter. Come back to the other end. We'll score it one inch, one and five eighths, and two and a quarter. By having that unusual uh, the five eighths of an inch there, it allows this for a tighter finish here on the inside, as you can see. If it's bigger, it's not a tight enough finish. Okay, so we've done that. Now, what I also made for all my ladies, and I'll just pop this on here, we're going to do uh, some measurements. And what I did was I made up a little strip, and I will have this on my blog so you can see it. And what you do is you go to the, the centre score line on both ends, and you lay a little, this weird little ruler that I made, and you're going to just poke a hole on all of those marks. I've written them out if you want to use a ruler, and I will have it on my blog. And then we'll just do this last one here. And then you lift this up and move it. Now you can't turn it round because it, it, it just wouldn't work on this, so I've just moved it down, gone to the centre again, the centre one and just punch those holes in all the way and this will make it much easier when it comes to doing the other end now once you've done that you need to burnish and fold all your score lines so when we fold actually we'll fold this way first fold all these across Now I've made this in whisper white and the oh there's my snowflake and my uh, paper today is um oh dear and it's the one with the uh, oh gosh I can't think what's it called pine cones and pine needles on which I really love. Now the size of those measure oh before I get to that when you fold here you fold back you're gonna fold the center one backwards on itself and then you fold this one back that produces the concertina end so again fold in fold back on itself and fold in again and that's how you make that section there now our pieces to go on the front 
measure uh, four and three quarters by one inch and you need five of those so I've made those and we'll put those on now and then we're going to cut and they just fit in those sections there this one the little short one stays empty because you're going to cover that up anyway Just today I'm going to use curling ribbon instead of ribbon because I thought it'll make a nice little flourish to the end. And being Christmas, it is that festive time. But this makes a nice last minute gift if you need to give somebody something and you don't quite have enough of of anything you can easily have a small box of Ferrero shares if you need more than one present because you're only going to pop four in so once you've done that you fold up one end and then you take your scissors and where you've got the little holes you're just going on oh, now don't cut that one this one cuts back in that direction and then this one cuts this way so it forms a V shape. So that when you open it up, I'll just cut this one so you can see. When you open it up, you have your, your open ends. How easy is that? Uh, Shannon, my one of my young ladies, she showed me what to do there. Because mm -hmm, I was going the other way. I was folding it this way to cut. And yes, it's all right, but this way gives you a much neater cut. So, and so you just cut through to the score line and then back through. And you just cut in on that, that punch mark that you made. Anyway, here's one I prepared earlier because we didn't need to sit there and watch me cut all those out. Oh, we finished the other one off after. Now, at the same time, I've used our gold foil and I've just run it along the edge. I'll bring the other one in and show you. So I've just taken it. Oh gosh, now it's got doing its tricky thing. Oh no, it's just me. Right, so that is going to lay onto the edge and then right on the very edge, you're just going to lay it on. And when you come off this end, give it a snip and tuck it under. And that's all you have to do. How easy is that? And it just gives that little bit of richness in colour. I just love the look of this. Now we're just going to take some glue. And we're going to add... Ooh, good thing you won't see that bit. I've been colouring something in that was pink. Just get the glue all on here. Because you want a, a reasonably decent seal on it. And then we're going to fold. I always do the two ends first. And fold them into place. Pinch them down. So that they hold. And then can gently ease this one in and if you're very careful well, it's not going to let me do it you can squash it back so that you make like a triangle shape here so that you can push down and get that to get a firm grip but be really careful there we are pop that back out and there's the bonbon made how quick and simple was that so what we'll do now is we'll get our curling ribbon. It's just the, the stuff you can buy at any reject or ship loads or anywhere like that. Now put your join to the bottom. Now 
Now this could be painful to watch me do this. And when you pull, pull firmly but not too tight. You don't want to tear through the piece. And if you like, you can add a little bow for someone to... Oh my God, this is painful. So that they can undo it easily. that off there. If you like you can just curl those ends a bit. Gosh this is criminal. Ah! No. Ah, that'll do. It's done. And then we're just going to take our Ferrero shares and just drop them down on the inside. Ta -da! And then close off the other end. <laughs> oh my god. This is terrible. There we go. So remember, pull it tight but not too tight. Make a bow. Do a better job than me. Like having no fingers and no thumbs. Trim that off. Give it a little bit of a curl. Oh, gee, that's not real good. My friend will forgive me, I think. And then, just here, I'm going to take, now I've used the um, snowflake, the snowflake thin cuts, which you can't actually get anymore, which is a shame, but if you've got them, or any form of snowflake, cut it out, and you can attach that to the front, or Merry Christmas, or whatever you want on the front, I just really like the snowflake. And I'll use a bit of um, the dots. I like these little dotty ones. And then just place that Ooh, slightly off. That's it. There we are. And there's my little gift. So there's two. One with ribbon and one with curling ribbon. Yes, one looks better than the other, but that's just the way it is. I hope you enjoyed this little project. So till next time, keep on creating and bye for now.